Finding a place for the kids to live in a tent college is a problem for some parents. Dorms are a solution to this problem. However, life in a dorm, be it good or bad, depends on where you are, who you share room with, and the services made available to you. Today, I'm in the dorms of California State University, East Bay, to talk to some residents about life in the dorms. For many residents, living in a dorm is a great opportunity to meet people. And Berkeley tells us about her own experience. I know too many people from back home who go here, so if you're totally new to the area, it's a great place to meet people and to be connected to things going on on campus. Domes are not fully furnished. Residents have to provide some of their staff. So we do have some extra things. We have a television, we have microwave, um, different kitchen appliances. Most of the stuff um, we had um, individually already, you know, before we came here. So we just bought them, you know, as we yeah. needed them. This situation often leads to misunderstanding between roommates. But Anne thinks that this can be worked out as long as there is communication between roommates. Her major, by the way, is communication. There will be conflict. Yeah. Um, you know, not all the time you get, um, you know, perfect roommates. Exactly. So, I mean, just prepare for, um, you know, any type of conflict, problems from miscommunication, not, you know, whether, um, you know, that person is bad or anything. So, just be prepared to work things out. Um, exactly. And things can be worked out. While some people consider sharing room has the greatest challenge in Dom's life, Arjun Segal from India thinks that it's rather a great opportunity. He explains why. With my situation was I had three different roommates from three different parts of the world just come in and I didn't know anything about them. So before I could even judge them, I needed to give them time. And by the time I think that I will, say, all right, I'm tired of you, you're not doing your job, it'll be time to, you know, to go, you know, it's to graduate or do something else. But, so with me, I've been able to learn their culture, food, many aspects of their life, their holidays, their uh, religious rituals, their and, uh, traditions, and I've been able to incorporate them into my own, you know, celebrations. Some students choose to live in the dorms to avoid long-distance transportation and to interact easily with the instructors and other people. That's the case with Kearney. Um, I decided to live on dorms because my first year in college, um, I lived in San Jose. And uh, I took public transportation, which took about two and a half hours to get here and two and a half hours to get back. Um, but with financial aid, I had the money to transport, but it was just really hectic. So I figured that I was getting enough financial aid to live here anyway, so why not stay on campus and make it a lot easier for myself? I'd be able to go to the events that I wasn't able to go to before, be able to meet my professors and on op uh, office hours like I wasn't able to. So I just figured that this year I would stay on campus. And Most students live in High House for the first time and then move to Pioneer Heights. Uh, what happened this year was that the first um, the first quarter, last quarter, fall quarter of 2009, I had to stay in international housing because Pioneer Heights was full, which burned a hole in my pocket. I'm still paying it off. And so, but you have a meal plan and things like that, but it's just way too expensive. But this quarter, um, I was able to move into Pioneer Heights and I stayed with a group of uh, soccer players. As you've just heard, living in a dorm has some ups and downs. However, if you consider meeting new people and interacting with them has an important college experience, it is a way to go.